Hello everyone, how are you all? I am Mo and you are welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. Today I will share products for a complete routine and that's for oily to combination congestion prone skin. But if you have dry or normal skin and you still experience congestion, give it a try. I think you will like it. By saying congestion, I don't mean particularly pimples. All those tiny little bumps that you feel when you touch your skin, all those expanded oil glands hiding underneath your skin like a sleeping volcanoes. Just a little bit of bacterial inflammation or provocation and boom, they turn into nasty little pimples. Today, we will try to figure out some solution when the situation is still under control. So without further ado, let's get into the video. But before that, consider subscribing my channel and hit the notification bell if you are enjoying my video where I share my love for skincare and fragrances. Let's go. First, cleanser. Oily impurities cannot be washed up by water-based cleanser or simple face wash because oil and water cannot be mashed. To remove those oily impurities, you need an oil-based cleanser, aka cleansing oil or cleansing balm, cleansing milk, whatever. So if you have oily to very oily skin, you need an oil cleanser dear every day two times. But if you have combination skin, just watch what your skin is needing. But I would suggest you to use double cleansing at least once in a day. Today I will share something more interesting than oil cleanser and that is nothing but an enzyme powder wash. The one right now I'm having is this one from Wish Friend. It's their green tea enzyme powder wash. A gentle chemical exfoliator, enzyme-based chemical exfoliator, papaya enzyme-based chemical exfoliator. It also contains betaine or beta-hydroxy acid, BHA and charcoal that sucks the impurities. It's a gentle chemical exfoliator for people who have sensitive skin who are scared to use other chemical exfoliators like me this one i can use it um, three to four times in a week during summertime what i do i mix a little bit into my face wash and i leave it on my face for two minutes and then i wash it off so i use it as my two minutes exfoliating face mask come face wash I love how multitasking it is and how many ways you can actually utilize the complete product. You can use it on its own. You can use it by mixing it into your face wash. You can make a paste and use it underneath your uh, armpit for armpit exfoliation. After exfoliation, you seriously get almost a new skin. Recently, Cassandra Bankson shared a video where she showed how to use it on its own. You take a little bit into a bowl and you sprinkle a little bit of water and you foam it up and use that foam all over your face and let that foam disappear into your skin. Then you wash it off. I have tried other K-Beauty enzyme powder washes, but this one stood out. But if you want to pick something from Indian market, go this ones from Bel Air and uh, that one from Indalgio. I have tried both of them. Next, I have this cleanser from Kaine. The bottle is high quality and the moment you hold this bottle, you know that it's expensive. But the product inside is okay. I mean, it's a gel based cleanser that feels very hydrating, very soothing and it smells like mixed herbs, but it does not have anything. Wow. So that I would recommend you to satisfy the price tag. You will get other affordable, much, much affordable options that does the same job. I don't recommend spending too much on cleanser because those products will be on our face for max one or two minutes and not more than that. So why not saving some money? Next, prepping my skin or rehydrating my skin. You know I already shared that I love first treatment essence for this particular step. Those are not just toner. Seriously, those are not just toner. I have been using them over a decade and I know, I realize the benefits of them, but I know they are extremely pricey. If you want to splurge on them, then definitely go and check this video where I shared whatever information that I know about them. This is another my favorite after this creamy toner video. Go and check before you splurge on them. Rather talk about this one. Uh, this uh, aqua boost hydrating toner from biocule this one no 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 
it's not the bottle i just transferred uh, the bot product inside here and i mostly threw the bottle matlab mujhe mil nahi raha hai let's talk about it it's actually a requested product first i will tell about the good things then i will talk about what i did not like about this product if you want me to describe this toner in a single sentence i would call it a rose water with aloe vera extract now first good thing is the packaging they utilized that paper दे डिड नॉट जस्ट वेस्ट जो इतने पेर कटे हैं इसको प्रिपेयर करने में दे यूटिलाइज टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट देयर प्रोडक्ट्स एवरीथिंग सेकेंडली देर आर नॉट टू मेनी रोज वाटर दैट आई लव और आई एंजॉय बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम रोज वाटर गिवस मी इरीटेशन इच इरीटेशन इट ऑल्सो कंटेंट्स आलो वाटर इट ऑल्सो कंटेंट्स क्यूकम्बर एक्सट्रैक्ट इट ऑल्सो कंटेंट्स अलॉन्टॉइन all of those products that are very soothing very calming for oily to very oily to combination to irritated skin you put it inside a refrigerator when you come back from outside and you spray it all over your face and you will feel very relaxed if you are a person who does not like any sort of viscosity any sort of leftover residue in your toner this one is for you if you are a person looking for just water toner that that feels like water and it smells a little bit of more than water this one is for you now what i don't like about this one i don't like it as my toner because you know i love little bit of viscosity in my toner and it does not have anything i mean it feels like you are applying only water a rose water and once it is absorbed as i say you will not remember your skin will not remember that you have applied anything then second one why didn't they mention it as a rose water or a aloe vera toner because the first two ingredients are those they have mentioned it as pentavitin which is nothing but that saccharide isomerate i mean the humectant and the citrulin again which is nothing but an amino acid and hyaluronic acid as their main ingredients i mean the focusing ingredients which is not wrong they have them I mean the pentavitin is their third ingredient. Secondly, when you are watching the pentavitin, citrulin, hyaluronic acid, it looks like a science-based product. To me, it's a product based on natural extract backed by science, which is not bad. It's very good, but I don't like the way they said it. In short, I'm not against the product. I'm against the marketing. Be realistic. there is no harm to say a rose water toner a rose water next the sunjong toner from etude house it's also a requested product someone recommended this one and thank you i love it i am loving it it changed my perspective towards watery toners because it's actually a chalu toner okay yes it is very watery so watery that you can transfer it in a spray bottle but after absorption it feels like a hydrating toner this one does not look like having any body but after absorption two layers and you are done even if you have combination skin and that's very natural because the second ingredient is propylene glycol which is nothing but a humectant derived from polysaccharide molecules third ingredient glycerin another humectant and fourth ingredient is betaine be a cha that will go and dilute all those expanded oil glands but it is sufficient enough to be used on everyday basis i am using it every single day and it did not irritate my skin it feels like you know the salt water or sugar water i mean when you wash them you don't understand that it has anything but wo sook jane ke baad you understand that it has something it does not contain only water this is something that will not uh, change your skin it's not for your cystic acne big pimples it's for maintaining that congestion prone skin it is said to be a soothing and calming toner but for me it's more appropriate for congestion prone skin to dilute all those nasty glands when they are already tiny beautiful beautiful product 10 out of 10 i also use this one the snail azulin water essence from tiam i love this bottle it looks so cute 
<laughs> now this one i did not use it all over my face although i could but i did not because i did not want this routine to be complicated i used only one drop into my eye cream and i used it all over my eyes so basically i used it as eye serum a hydrating repairing soothing eye serum this one i like way 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 more than cosrx nail mucin in fact ever since i have this one i don't use cosrx nail mucin cosrx nail mucin is not bad but this one i feel more versatile any skin type any season any routine it has that same slip same gooiness it also gives that same amount of glow without being heavy or tacky it's that much light but not too light you understand na it also feels quite refreshing i mean it feels refreshing and it's also very soothing and calming due to this ingredient called azulin which is nothing but extract from chamomile for what clears with nine blue calming cream is famous for it's also little affordable than cosrx nail mucin it's available on kind life shining website if you want to save something more you can use my coupon code mo10 for extra 10% discount this lightweight soothing moisturizer from cosrx i visited nika and i saw mixed reviews i was very unhappy <laughs> because i like this one too but i realized why some people did not like it it looks like a gel moisturizer but it does not feel or does not absorb like a gel moisturizer it is actually not a gel based moisturizer it has oil it has tea tree oil but tea tree is an ingredient for acne it's lightweight very lightweight in fact it's the lightest uh, cosrx cream but it has a dewy finish it feels very very hydrating and it feels dewy liking this one you need to appreciate the finish every propolis product gives and that is a honey like glow honey like dewiness you don't need to think about the ingredients it has propolis aloe green tea niacinamide betaine allantoin zinc pca tea tree oil imagine a pearl necklace for your acne prone skin and these are the pearls but if you are looking for matte finish you are not a fan of dewy finish you will not enjoy this one and lastly this fluid sunscreen from minimalist with spf 50 and pa 4 pluses now i will talk what i liked about it and what i did not like about it this is very light i mean the consistency is very light almost like lotion it does not feel like i'm using an indian sunscreen it feels like i'm using a k beauty sunscreen and it is waterproof and sweat proof like if you are a sports person if you want a sunscreen for your swimming time for your gymming time i mean outdoor activities not actually indoor gymming outdoor activities and if you are spending a lot of time outside you are sweating like a pig this one is for you it will be sticking to your skin like anything even it is so damn strong that even you come back from outside you cannot wash it off with face wash you need a solid oil cleanser wherever you put it on i can remember i used it on my face and then i uh, washed it off with an oil cleanser but you know there this area where most probably i did not use i mean i couldn't reach when i washed it off with a face wash i saw it there now what i did not like about it only one thing that i did not like about it that it burns eyes and the burning varies person to person i mean i felt the burning but it's very mild you know and i sweat a lot especially when i run i sweat i sweat a lot but my husband he is feeling very strong burning if you have oily skin you will still use it and you will be satisfied but if you are someone who are going out and who are layering so many products and then you are using it it feels suffocating and not only this one yesterday i received this one and i used it it felt more oily and it burned my eyes like anything next eye cream i told you i did not use eye cream that much but i recently started eye cream and i wanted to try something very simple hydrating and not too science focused 
not too active based not too complicated so i tried this one from me zone and it's their multifunctional formula snail repair eye cream this one felt more like a snail butter rather than snail mucin i mean it's hydrating moisturizing and it has a little bit of nourishment uh it's not way too slippery it has a slip but it's not way too no it's a very no nonsense very repairing firming eye cream for any skin type and that's all with my today's video i hope you enjoyed it today i become little chatty but i couldn't help sometimes na ise andar mein aane wale baaton ko bol dega chahiye if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like it and If you haven't been subscribed yet, then subscribe now. See you soon in my next video. Till then, bye.